Well, it seems that the uh, Brian Dunlinger cult is tearing itself apart. The toxic, cannibalistic Brian Dunlinger cult. Really, the Brian Dunlinger cult is not much different than the new IFB cult, the group that I came out of about roughly two years ago, a little over two years ago. And the new IFB cult is tearing itself apart. Well, the Brian Dunlinger cult is also tearing itself apart. Recently, some of uh, Brian Dunlinger, one of Brian Dunlinger's followers, uh, actually wished death on me because I dared to speak against his pope, Brian Dunlinger. That's the thing about all cults: is that every single cult can't stand it when you speak against their cult leader. And essentially, the Brian Dunlinger group are no different than Roman Catholics. That's why I refer to it as a papal cult, because they are essentially behaving like Roman Catholics. They have the same uh, just papal infallibility, just wicked mentality that the Roman Catholic Church has, that the Jesuits have. And they have the same kind of, you're lost if you don't agree with us mentality that the Jesuits and the Papists have as well. So really, the Brian Dunlinger group is really just no, no different than Roman Catholicism. And it is ironic how they're just so militantly opposed to Catholicism, meanwhile they are becoming the very cult they hate, essentially. They are becoming the very Catholic cult that they hate. That's the truth, and the Brian Dunlinger group is tearing itself apart, and the reason why it is so is because they're always backbiting each other, and I saw it quite a lot myself. Basically, anyone who dares to question anything that Brian Dunlinger says is you know, called lost and cast out. When uh, Philip Newton uh, dared to question Brian Dunlinger over the whole Christmas thing, and Brian Dunlinger's wicked defense of this pagan Roman Catholic holiday of Christmas, and Brian, what did Brian do? He actually threatened Philip Newton with, "Oh, you're not qualified for ministry. God's going to pour out his wrath. Is going to bring wrath on you for basically speaking against the man of God, Brian Dillinger." And it's so ironic because Brian used to condemn the IFB system for having this "don't speak against the man and God" mentality. Meanwhile, Brian Dillinger is displaying this exact same mentality he used to condemn the IFB for. What an absolute hypocrite! There's a scripture in Luke chapter 12 and verse 1, which says, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Brian Dunlinger and many of his followers are Pharisees, whether they admit or not they're hypocrites. And people say, well, why, why, why are you attacking him? He's your brother in Christ. Like this one guy, Phil, what's his name, Phil Randon. Every single time I say anything about Brian Dunlinger, he just gets really upset because he doesn't like the fact that I'm speaking against his, you know, his favorite preacher, basically. And it's like one minute I'm saved, another minute I'm lost, another minute I'm maybe back, maybe saved, you know. Then I'm back to being lost again because, you know, I'm speaking against Brian Dellinger, you know. So anyway, I blocked this Phil Randon guy. He's just causing problems. Um, essentially, what a lot of these guys think is that you're lost if you say anything against Brian Dellinger. That's what it comes down to. If you speak against their pope, you are now lost. You are going to hell. You've had your um, you've had your name taken out of the book of life. I guess one of uh, Brian's cardinals, I guess, he sends up up to heaven to go to the book of life with their holy whiteout and blot your name out of the book of life for committing the unpardonable sin of speaking against Pope Brian Dunlinger and his cardinals. And it's funny now because Aaron Deering has now well, not funny, but it's tragic. But at the same time, it's interesting how. Um, Aaron is now Aaron Deering has now got a taste of his own medicine because he's now essentially been shunned by the Brian Dunlinger group and a lot of them you know now see his true colors and how double-minded he is and so yeah he's he's now gotten a taste of his own medicine and I do pray he repents and gets right with God because he is not qualified to be preaching and you know he has taken down his video so I'll give him credit for that but the bottom line is, is that the whole Dunlinger cult they're they're tearing themselves apart. They're backbiting each other. You know, it just, it's its crazy. You see, every single uh, group out there, heretical group, what they always do is that they're always vying for control. And again, I'm not saying that every single Brian follower is lost, but there, there are a couple of them I do think are lost. But I think a lot of them could be saved and are just simply respecters of persons toward Brian Dillinger. A lot of them, a lot of them are blatantly guilty of being a respect. I mean, this Phil Randon guy, he's one example. Uh, and, and others too are blatantly guilty of the sin of being respecters of persons and they are respecters of persons towards Brian 
You see, when Brian comes out and exposes somebody, they listen to him. But then when someone says something bad about Brian, they just dismiss it because it's about it's about Brian down there. So they are respecting Brian's person. They're not actually looking at both sides of the story. So they're guilty of that. And it's funny too because when you call them out for their sin, they don't like it. They get all offended. But then they accuse you of, oh, you just left Brian's group because you got you you got your sin kicked. But then when we kick their sin, and by we I mean, you know, former Denling rights, when we if we kick their sin, they get all offended too. Like when I told one of them that you're trying to celebrate a heathen holiday of Christmas, he got all offended. So really, they're the ones who don't like it when you kick their sin. You know, they'll they'll, they'll attack you, they'll go after you, and accuse you of loving your sin. But then the moment you go after their sin, oh man, it's you're you're in serious sin if you do that. You know, so it's okay for them to do it, but then when you do it back to them, it's somehow not okay. What absolute total hypocrites these these people are. You know, I mean, at this point, I'm glad that I've seen their true colors. I mean, it's about, been about almost a year now since I've seen their true colors. And quite frankly, never never been better off. I've never been better. I'm better off leaving and just never, you know, looking back essentially because this is what they're like. And, you know, Brian Dunlinger has brought out some good sermons in his early ministry years but Brian Dunlinger has just been consumed with pride and arrogance and high mindedness and he's got his little imitators and clones like uh, Jacob Thompson JT does who just simply parrot everything Brian says do, they, they very rarely do they come up with their own original stuff they just parrot what Brian says and he got this this JT does Jacob Thompson who's this little I mean I call him a kid because he's he's I mean physically he's older than me but spiritually he's a little child I mean, just the way he acts is very childish. He did these two, these three videos on Tim, and his video actually trying to defend reporting on news as if it's somehow ministry. You know, um, hate to break it to you, but no JT, no Jacob, reporting on news is not ministry. Okay, and he tries to say, well, what about the office of a watchman? Um, the office of a watchman. There's two things about that. First of all. Uh, a watchman is not a New Testament office. Okay, the watchman was an Old Testament office. It was not. It was never. It's never a New Testament office. It's always in the Old Testament. Secondly, a watchman was not report. Was not someone who just reports on news all the time. Okay, a watchman was someone who would keep watching guard. Essentially, they weren't someone who would just report on all the latest news. So don't try to twist your script. Twist the scriptures to defend your uh, so-called news ministry, JT. You scripture twisting Denling right cultist you know it's wicked the way he just runs his mouth against people and lies about people it's ridiculous uh, JT does he may be physically older than me but he's a he's an immature little brat and a spiritual a spiritual infant that's all he is a spiritual child a spiritual toddler I'll put it that way so yep uh, don't and, and by the way any Denlinger followers who comment on this video you'll be, you'll be blocked you'll be banned permanently because I don't need your leaven I don't need your uh, your wickedness and your cultism toward Brian Dillinger and your respect as a person toward Brian on this channel. So you will be blocked and you will be banned because you are you have proven you a lot of you guys have proven that you are just respect as a person toward Brian. So I'm not going to tolerate it. So yeah, don't be deceived by this Brian cult. Uh, some of them could be saved. A lot of them are I, I think are saved, but they're tearing themselves apart. And good, you know they. Uh, done a lot of damage to newly saved Christians. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.